All right, this is this is from my brain. Okay, I'm going to tell you something. I don't okay. think we can bet on tell this. Tell me about it. I would bet everything that we're taking an offensive lineman. I don't care where we're picking. Yeah, we're our first picks an yeah. offensive line. Wow. I don't. I can't tell you if it's going to be tackle, guard, or center. Okay, but I can tell you right now. With the whatever first round pick the Dallas Cowboys have, second. they're taking, yep, the 32nd <laughs> pick. They're taking, I will say this, if we're picking 32nd and we didn't trade down, then maybe we're not taking an <laughs> offensive lineman because this thing went way better than I could have ever imagined. But I do think besides picking 31st or 32nd, right. I am pretty damn sure the Cowboys are taking an offensive lineman with their 2023 first round pick. And I, I don't think they're not going to need to take defense. What do we need on defense? Not saying that it's fixed forever, yeah. but when you look at it, I just think, Corey, I don't know. I just think that there's no way we take any other position than general offensive lineman. All right. It makes a lot of sense mm -hmm. to, to say that right now uh, right. because you're missing that spot right now. But what if yeah, you're missing a center, a guard, and two tackles? If but we think one of the tackles will be good. Um, if Tyler turns into if Tyler turns into a good tackle, then you don't have to replace Tyron Smith. You're you're good there. Uh, Terrence Steele, they have they have more faith in than I do. Uh, and you're not replacing Zach Martin. Connor McGovern's probably going to have a full season here. I'm looking at this list right now. Tyron Steele will let's go ball is what you are going into this season with a tackle. Martin Smith McGovern. That's it at guard right now. And I guess fair and oak at uh your back, your swing guard. Yeah. And Baidez. Like that's uh that's that's it. Or Biadich. Baidez. Uh so that's what you're rocking with with offensive line right now is uh nine offensive linemen is what it looks like it's gonna be for this final roster at fifty three. And I don't think that's going to be enough. I'm thinking that they're going to try. They're going to try and sign a free agent at some point sure. to add to this roster. But you're telling me then that if they have a war daddy sitting there at whatever spot they're picking at, not Taco, but if they have a guy that is is that kind of defensive end, that kind of game changer, or if there is another type, like I think that the draft each year goes by that draft, not necessarily sure. what you needed at the beginning of the season. This season has to play out. Lots of things could change. And Mike, I know the feelings on if something was to happen to, to Dak, then how do you, do you look at this team differently for sure? So I am not in the mindset of you have to get an offensive lineman. And we don't know what this crop of offensive linemen looks like right now. Right. Is the level of play high enough to validate that spot? Oh, if I need to dra trade down or trade up, like there are a lot of things that go into the tr the the draft situation there. So, at the moment, looking at my roster, yes, I definitely need some. But sounds that like we have a three to one bet here because you know there's a lot of positions to draft. I'll give you the odds right now, three to one. The odds are in my favor, obviously, because there's a lot of positions you can draft a whole bunch of things besides offensive line. I'll bet you right now that the first round pick for the Cowboys this upcoming draft, which is a long way away, is an offensive lineman. In the first round. In the first round, we're drafting an offensive lineman. Okay. All right, fifty bucks at three to one. Now, that's the only way Mike can okay. enjoy so you owe life. Me, is you owe me a hundred fifty dollars. We got to bet money on it. Otherwise, it may, you have to put your money where your mouth is. Yeah. Otherwise, Ooh. there's no use in even having an opinion yes. unless you put your money where your mouth is. Yes. Oh, so there man. you go, Mike. There's so your you owe fifty me a, bucks. A hundred fifty. Sure, whatever, dude. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. You don't seem happy about this. I'm reading your don't body language bet, and your then. tone. Oh, right, let's go, let's go ahead and do it, man. Like that's there's there is an, a possibility that something changes the entire season, and you don't have to this year. I know that's that why I'm giving you three to one odds. Well, all right, let's go. Because I don't think it's like as great as I think it is either. I you made valid points, and I was, but don't be ticked off. I'm not ticked off. You're happy? No, I'm not happy either. What He's are you? Neutral. I mean, look outside, dude. It's gray out there, bro. Oh no! Is that what? Are you taking? It's on? cut day. It's gray outside. Every day, are you going to take on the personality of, of the, the weather sky. outside? Yeah, this guy's this one about. down, Corey. Are you sky sure? Changes everything. You don't seem happy about this bet. I Guys. would rather not bet money that I. You don't I, have I don't, to bet. This is yeah, not a hostage situation. I don't make as much as Mike. I don't make as much as Kevin. Oh I make God, less I make than so everybody. So you guys make exactly the same. Actually, well, that's a different story for a different time. But this is about the dressers. 
wasn't it? Uh, it's very much about the dresser. That's, I knew but it. But yeah, man, like I, I think that there, it does. There's nothing that says that this has to be a first round, the her first round offensive lineman. Because because a lot of things could change. All right, and I'm looking at. Can I? Can I? Paint, no, I'm not. Yeah, go ahead. Can I paint a potentially rosy picture of how it could turn out? Yeah, because we were supposed to get a cornerback and end up getting Micah. Yes, and so like that, like just the draft itself dictates what you're going to have to do. No, absolutely, 100%. I agree. Now, here's my rosy possible picture as I was taking a look at. I realize it's not going to play out 100% like this, but if you just look at the numbers, left tackle is Tyler Smith. That's your first round pick. He's 21. All right. So hopefully that works out. Left guard, Connor McGovern was still a third round pick. He's only 24 and apparently was playing well enough to beat out Tyler Smith at left guard. Tyler Biotish, fourth round pick. He's only 24. Zach Martin, obviously, he's the oldest of the bunch. He's 31, but he was a first-round pick, and Terrence Steele is 25. I believe, to your point, Martin's under contract through 2024, I yeah, think. Yeah, exactly. Like, so you have two more years of his— And he's still awesome. Yeah. Like I, I know like health becomes a concern the older you get, but he's still awesome. Is So I look at the rest of the starting offensive line like it looks like it's going to start on the, for the season opener. Four of your five guys are 25 years old or younger— Four of your five were drafted fourth round or better. Two of them are first round picks. And the only one that's older than 25 is already a Hall of Famer. Like, they have invested a lot in this. Now, I get that the flip side is a lot of people don't have confidence in Steele or Biotish or McGovern. So I can see, and we haven't seen anything from Tyler Smith in a real game yet. I can see, I can see why this question came up. And I'm intrigued by the question. But I And I'm, McGovern's a free agent at the end of the year. Okay. All right, and so it's much like Connor Williams is if he even does like a serviceable job, you might be like, well, you can move on down the road. But I, I also see the potential for, man, it would be lovely if things broke our way and you had four of your five starting offensive linemen that if you wanted to keep McGovern are 25 years old or younger. The I, I'll also kind of point to the Jordan Lewis draft, which was the Taco Charlton draft. They needed a corner back then, right? Like they needed cornerbacks. They chose to wait till the second, third round to try to try to fill that. Those guys have lived up to it, you know. And then then they get Anthony Brown. Was it the year before they got Anthony I Brown think, too? I think that but they is went correct. In, they went into that draft going, "We are light. We have Byron Jones, and that's it. Uh, we need to we need to get this." Well, whenever the draft came down to them, I, they said we still need a defensive end. I don't know why they took Taco. Like it, my Ke Kevin, we were at night still, I believe, at that time, saying this is the 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 guy that you want the least out of all yeah. these options. Yeah. This is the guy yeah. that you want the least. But they said, and we said, if there's a cornerback there, but the draft just didn't have a cornerback there, so they invested second and third round picks in that in that player in that position, and you know they had an opportunity. They wanted a cornerback in 2020. Ceedee Lamb fell in their lap. And they were able to get digs in the second round. So I think there, there's now that being said, what does we say about pitching all the time? You need eight pitchers, eight starting pitchers At least, to make yeah. it through a full yeah. season. And with offensive linemen and cornerbacks, I think those are the two positions where you're like, you have to have depth there. You have to have players that can play. 